Priya being the first boot, Julia and Nichelle having a rivalry and another world tour. These are some of the wishes you guys had for the third season of Total Drama the Reboot. Also, sorry if you have seen these images and thought they were real. That was me. Again, sorry for that. Hello everyone, and as we know, the second season just ended a few weeks ago and we ended up with Wayne as the winner of season two, which I thought was a good ending. But now the question is, what is the future of Total Drama? As we know, when they announced that Total Drama was coming back, we would get 26 episodes split up in two seasons with 13 episodes each, because that's what they ordered. These two seasons were in production for a while, and both were written and produced together, and the first season finally came out in April last year. As the first season aired in Italy, the second season was in the last stages of production, so both these seasons were produced before they had any public opinions or reactions to the season. So now with both seasons out, and if the ratings do well in the aired version, we will hopefully get a season three. So please support the show in Italy, the UK, Canada, and hopefully in the US as well soon, if they ever decide to release it. Now that the producers have kind of seen what the viewers like or feel about the characters, they can kind of adjust some things based on what we as an audience want. As a final clarification, season three does not exist yet because it hasn't been green lightened. So there is no footage of it unless I make a few more fake ones. So I asked you guys in a community post on what your wishes for season three were, as well as who do you want to interact with more next season. I'm gonna go through the most popular topics and see what I think about them, if I agree or not. I'm probably gonna do another video of things I want, but let's just see what you guys want first. So before we go through the topics, I wanna hand out more free icons. You can use these as your profile pictures or whatever. This video's icons are Beach Boy Chase and MK Feed Julia, which you might have seen before. And let's end with matching icons for our hockey bros, security guards Raj and Wayne. As of now, I have done 78 icons, and they are available on TikTok for a limited time, so make sure to check out my icon pack videos before it's too late. This week you can get both Pastel Pop Bowie as well as Delinquent Wayne, and this week is also going to be a squirrel weekend, and you don't want to miss that. With all that said, let's finally move on with the video and look at your Season 3 wishes. So first up is the setting we are going to get, and a lot of you want a different setting instead of Camp Wawanakwa again. And I agree with you here. I feel like two seasons of that island is enough and we need to change things up to make it a little bit more fresh and new. Otherwise, it might get a little bit repetitive. The first seasons were a reboot of Total Drama Island. Now that the reboot is done on the island, we can do something else now. Some of you suggested action theme season, and I have to say that I do not want that, mostly because I did not enjoy the season and I find the movie setting a little bit boring since the movie genres are a little bit predictable. The other option, which is probably the most requested one, is a world tour, which I am also siding with. These poor teens have been stuck on an island for two seasons. Let's give them some freedom by traveling the world. World Tour is also a good way of showing different cultures, which we all love. So I'm totally on board with this idea. If I had to pick between action or a world tour, I would totally pick a world tour. Then we might also get some singing, which a lot of people want. There are some contestants I kind of want to sing, for example, Axel, Ripper, and MK. Also, if they are stuck in a tight area like the Jumbo Jet, there will be more interactions with each other since they are kind of forced to be with each other. This was kind of a problem with the island as it was so big, everyone was so spread out, and this led to the isolated relationships where you only hung out with one person the entire season. Then I saw this one comment that suggested a school season with every challenge being based on different subjects, and each subject could have a different teacher slash co-host, which I thought was kind of interesting if they want to pick a totally new setting. The question is, where do they sleep and hang out? Do they just sit locked inside the school for a few weeks? And where are all the other students? Like, are they allowed to be there or do they stay home until the season ends? The next topic is the cast, which there were a lot of mixed responses on. Some of you wanted an entirely new cast. Some of you wanted the reboot cast again. Some of you wanted to add some new contestants as they did in a world tour with Alejandro and Sierra. And some wanted to mix the reboot cast with the OG ones. I'm also kind of in the middle of this, but I would lean more into the reboot cast again with some new characters added. I can't let them go yet, and I feel like some of them still need some development or even personalities, cough, cough, Nichelle. So I would want to keep the reboot cast for one more season, and then we can do something new or an all-star. Because if an all-star would be made right now, it's kind of obvious who would make it. But if we have a full reboot cast for one more season, everyone can get some development and at least have a chance for that all-star spot because right now we kind of know that Nichelle, Axel, Chase, and Caleb are probably out. 
If they decide to add two more contestants, we can probably also get three teams because unlike the first season where we had a final two, season two had a three-way finale throughout the whole finale, so this time it would make sense to have each of them pick the teams, and with two new additions, we can get equal teams with six in each of them. This might also make it possible for a 26-episode season. Now let's move on to the most exciting part of the video, which is the contestants. What do you guys want for some of the contestants who need development and who do we not care about anymore? So let's start with Axel, and you all agree that we need more development for her. She came in as this fierce, hot-headed competitor that we all kind of expected to be pretty strong with her survival skills. But it feels like we never got to see anything of that, because in season one, she was the second one eliminated, and in season two, she got stuck with Ripper, and they just kissed and kissed, she became this lovey-dovey girlfriend, which is kind of the opposite of what we thought she was gonna be. It also felt like she was just a support character for Ripper, and they didn't focus enough on her. So how can we fix that? Well, one is that we remove Ripper early from the game so we can focus on Axel. One thing I thought would be interesting was if we made her smarter instead of stronger. Because we thought Axel would be a kind of strong competitor when it came to challenges, but in season two she kind of flopped in them and didn't do as well in them, and it didn't really help that she got majorly outclassed by both Priya and Nichelle. Instead of going the Nichelle route where she is just good at every physical thing, let's make her go the mental route because she is kinda artsy and classy and those people are usually smart. And this would impress and surprise a lot of people. This might also make her stand out a little bit more because let's be honest, most of this cast are pretty stupid. Another person a lot of people wanted to talk about was no one other than Nichelle, our flop queen Nichelle LaDonna. The biggest question we still have about Nichelle is, who in the world is Nichelle LaDonna expect that she is an action movie star? You all felt like we needed to learn more about her personally, which I agree with because she has like no personality. I also want to make it clear that I like Nichelle, I just hate what the writers did to her, and at this point she is just a meme because of how much she disappointed me. So what do we want from Nichelle? Hopefully we all can finally get the villain Nichelle we all wanted and predicted preseason. I think her personality really showed in her season two elimination episodes as well as in the finale. She appeared kind of nice in the first season and the first few episodes of season two, but in the end, she turned out to be pretty selfish and only cared about her own success. Like when she bragged about her bank account for no reason in the finale. So if I get something like that, I would be happy even if it would make me dislike her more. I do hope she actually makes the merge this time because she is now the only contestant with Scary Girl to never reach the merge. So in the community post on who should interact more, almost everyone said Nichelle with anyone because she had like no interaction with anyone throughout both seasons. It has gotten to the point that we are delusional and make up random ships for her with people she never interacted with. Most suggested that she and Damien should be a duo because out of everyone, it seemed that Nichelle bonded with Damien the most. You guys wanted Nichelle to be kind of a mentor to him and make him overcome his fears, which I thought sounded interesting. Another high suggestion was that she and Julia would continue their feud in season three and maybe make it a rivalry. It makes sense because they are pretty famous people, so seeing them clash a lot more would be interesting. If it just took one interaction for Julia to hate her so much that she plotted her entire elimination, imagine a full season of them interacting together. But maybe this time let Nichelle win the battle to get her some relevancy and success instead of her constant flopping. Next is Priya and Caleb. I think the writers expected us to really like Caleb and Priya together, but the entire fandom kind of hates them. I think it is a combination of the storyline being so dragged out, it led to Priya staying in the game too long, as well as Caleb not being the most interesting character. The writers clearly like Priya as she won the first season, as well as made it to fourth place in the second season, and had a pretty big role in the finale. She is not as popular on social media. It gets to the point where people think you are crazy if you like her. I know that because that's why everyone keeps telling me. It's much easier to pretend to hate her if you want people to like you. Just look at this comment I made on Priya being the first boot and how many people agreed. So to please the fans, I do think we all want Priya to go kinda early, maybe even the first boot, because she has kinda been the main character for both seasons, and let's hand that role to someone else. And if she goes early, she can take Caleb with her, because I think we all agree that Caleb should not make it far again. A lot of people see her and Caleb to be a little bit toxic, so maybe that will take her out early as people see her to be too bossy. I secretly hope she stays long for another season, mainly because I want her to be the highest ranking contestant in the reboot cast. 
Next, we have Julia. I'm not really gonna talk about what we want with her. It's mostly mixed since half want her to win and the rest want her to be an early boot. There is no in-between. The most important topic when it comes to Julia is what's gonna happen to her hair after it became a mullet. Most people want her hair to stay a mullet or have a short ponytail just like Heather. I made this design of this ponytail which is similar to the one she had in her intro package. I just felt it got underused. Some others picked the boring route and wanted her hair to grow out again. This time I'm gonna agree on the mullet side, mostly because you can meme a lot with it. The same thing with bald Nichelle, which totally happened. So now let's go to the boys and we are gonna talk about Damien, Z, Bowie, and Raj. So let's start with Damien. Many people did not like the way he got eliminated because it felt like it was kinda unfair. Any many thought he would make it to the finale and needs a real redemption or at least get some justice. I feel like many of us think that there were so much potential with Damien for season two, but it ended up being very anticlimactic for him. I think the biggest issues with Damien in season two was that he was very inconsistent. One episode he is a coward and the next one he is kind of brave and wants to take risk. The next episode he is back to being scared of everything. So to get a more consistent level where he goes from scared to brave, we might need to go for the Nichelle being a mentor path. However, an alternative for that is that Millie is the mentor. I know that sounds crazy, but what if Millie and Damien is a duo again next season? With Priya gone, maybe Millie can train Damien like Priya trained her. I'm not totally saying this because I want more Millie screen time. Bowie is in a weird spot, as he was a very strategic guy, but then had to choose between the game or his emotions. So he kind of went from being an antagonist to a good person. I saw a lot of you wanted him to come back to his old strategic villain Bowie, but at the same time develop more with Raj, and those things kind of clash with each other. So it's kind of hard to pick a path for Bowie where he gets both of those things. I personally don't think they need more development because they were in a good spot from the beginning and is probably the most stable relationship in the series, but I do want to see more of them just interacting as a couple. Like they had some differences and drama, but that lasted like 30 seconds. The only development they can get is a derailment and we don't want that. So I don't really know what more you can develop for them since they are already well developed. And going back to Bowie, the only way I can see him going back to his old self is that Raj gets booted early and Bowie tries to get revenge for him so he goes back to season one Bowie. But he does it for Raj so Raj isn't all that mad about it, instead finds it cute because his boyfriend got vengeance for him. Finally, we have Z. I didn't really see that many wishes for Z. Expect that you all like him and wants him to make it far again. It breaks my heart, but I do not want that. I think that Z has been really irrelevant both seasons. Yes, he had his middle ground storyline between Caleb and Priya, but that's it. So I think I would be okay with Z being an early boot, and I think you guys will also be okay with that since that's kind of what we all expected him to be in season two. The only way I can see Z make it further is if he takes the game a little bit more seriously. He is just mostly there for comic relief, which we all want him to stay as. But if the season is, for example, 26 episodes, I have no idea how long that can carry him. So those were some of your most requested wishes for season three. I couldn't take all of them because there were a lot of them. So what do you think about these wishes? Do you agree or disagree? And if you want to hear what I want, let me know down below and I might make another video of that because I might have some different and controversial wishes. That's it for the video. Be sure to check me out on TikTok to get icons as well as other fun content. Also be sure to subscribe and like this video if you want more content about total drama. Now that the season has ended, I might go back to some old projects. For example, Expedition Castaway because I really want to go back and finish that. So with all that said, goodbye and see you in my next video. Bye.